a video here about my enlarger build progress. Um, I think I'll start by explaining the circuitry in this video because I didn't do that in the last one. The brains of this enlarger are this Arduino Mega here. Um, it's not the standard Arduino. The standard Arduino is the Arduino Uno, but I needed more input output pins here. So I got the bigger version for this and it seems to be working quite well. Um, for the controls, I have these buttons here, each wired to ground and to one of the input output pins. And then I have keypad, which is wired to the input output pins as well. This is for inputting the timer and um, the num all the numbers, I guess. Um, a little display here, you've got wired some digital pins in the Arduino. And then what I didn't have in the last year, which I do have now, is this RS-485 or MAX-485 board. Oh, can you focus on that? Um, back there, okay, yeah, there we go. This is an RS, this is MAX-485 board with RS-485 chip on it, which converts a single signal from the Arduino into a du dual signal, which goes to this XLR cable, which then sends around the loop to this DMX decoder. DMX is a stage lighting standard used in theater, and it um, is a, basically used for LED lighting, and makes it really simple for me to send a signal the sig a simple signal from, from the Arduino through these cables to this machine. And this, this, this box will then decode that signal and then send out all the channels of LEDs with power to them from this box of the power supply. Um, that's, so that's the basic circuitry of it. Um, what else can I, what else did I not explain yet? Oh, yes, LEDs. I have, um, uh, 14 LEDs wired up right now. That's not as many as it will be off at the end, obviously. This is 14 blue LEDs for testing. Um, they are wired to the DMX decoder here. There's then, the, 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 the power for that goes to this board here, which has two 0.15 ohm resistors. And then all these wires, uh, these, there, so the, the, the LEDs are 14 of them, um, seven in a series, and then two of those series in parallel um, to get the the best, the most efficient use of the power that I have. I mean, they're quite bright, as you'll see soon. Um, and this is nowhere near the full amount, so I, I have no concerns about this not being enough light. Um, I'll go over the, uh, I guess, how I program, how you how you plug in your numbers first, because some people, uh, I think I might have talked a bit too fast in the last video. I do that sometimes, apologies. Um, so that's all input for the, on this display here and using the buttons and the keypad and whatnot. So the first step for doing a print is to uh, plug in your, uh, uh, well, I should explain this first. This, this is f-stop printing. F-stop printing is a mode where you print your exposures exponentially on your test strip rather than linearly. Because paper, like film, exposes exponentially. That's why I have stops, not just increments. So that's how I have to, that's how I do test strips with this. And that makes it get a lot more data on the test strip that's usable than if you just do incremental test strips. So the first step would be to press the, uh, well, of course I need to set my colors. Um, I have red, green, and blue on this setting now. I can also hit this switch here to switch it to UV. Well, he's plugged in right now. I'm just gonna go back to this, hit the blue wired button over here, and I'll plug in uh, 50 for the blue value. It goes up to 255, that's pretty standard for LEDs. So one to two fifty five are my are my uh, brightness ranges, but two fifty five is really bright with these LEDs. So I'm not going to do that because it will probably blind the camera. Um, so it's fifty for now. So I go to the keypad, type in five zero, and I hash is my enter button. So press the hash, and now fifty is input for the blue LED value. I then to do a test strip, well hit, hit the yellow wired button here, and now it says see it says test strip, base, stop, and stops. Base, I'm going to do one second or two seconds because I don't want it to be very long because I'm just showing you how to do this and I'm not doing actual, actual test strips, of course. Stops, I'll just do one second stops for now because so one C is my slash button or my I don't really call it math, but yeah, and then I'll do two. I have one six is probably the it's, it goes up to one twelfth, but one six is probably the what you want to use most of the time when you're printing and for stops. That's how number, the number of increments that I want. I'm just gonna do five for now because I don't want to keep it short. And that's, that's so to that. And then when I, let's see, see if this blows out the colors. Purple wired button is my start button. So I hit start, it counts down. You can see the blue light that comes with the IDs there. 
not to expose it two out of five. That's because it tells you which exposure you're on just for helpful helpfulness there. And I see it's 1.66. Oh, there we go, it is kind of really bright. Now it says 1.17, that's because, as I said, it's exponential, it's counting down each step. Because as I, I do test strips by exposing, I kind of, I, I expose them mo more, test more increments as they go down. This I, I kind of expose most of the paper at the end, less paper at the beginning, so it counts down as you do go through the steps. So it's kind of reverse order. Um, I didn't explain that very well, but hopefully you get what I mean, and if not, I can explain it in the comments. Um, so yeah, I just keep exposing that for your five increments. That's two seconds, that's the base seconds amount. This is where all the papers getting exposed now. And it turns on for two seconds. Then the final bit that I need to show you, well then after you've done this, is you would go over to your orange button, hit that, and then I say my base was two seconds. Two. My stop increment was one half, so one half. And now I look at the test strip and I see where was the best, where was the best exposure on that test strip. And let's say it was at, in the middle at three. So now I just hit the third value is what I need to do. So three, enter. Now it will tell me that was four seconds. And that's all I need to do. It, it does all the math itself for, to, to figure out what the total exposure is. And now that's all set and I would just go to the purple button again, hit it, and there we get the LED is turning on. What else can I explain to you? Uh, this has some settings in it that I don't probably you don't need to explain if, unless you want to build one of these. I can go into more depth about that if you want. It's just kind of basic setup stuff. Um, power supply is a 648 watt power supply that delivers uh, 27 amps at 24 volts or maximum 27 amps at 24 volts. I'm not using near that much now, but when I have all the LEDs plugged in, it will be that much power that it draws. Well, a bit less. I always want a bit of wiggle room with your power supply. Um, Power supply comes in from the wall here. DC AC power comes in from the wall here. Sends out DC power through these cables to the DMX decoder, which then sends it out as a PWM signal to the LEDs. PWM means pulse width modulation. That basically means instead of actually dimming the LEDs constantly brightness, what it's doing is it's flashing them on and off really fast to, to dim them, basically. It, it looks like it's just dimmer to us, but in reality, it's at full brightness and then off, full brightness then off. like thousands of times every second, and that's how it dims it, because LEDs actually dim better that way than if just lowering the power for them. If you just lower the power to LEDs, they, they don't dim in a, like a very predictive manner. So this is the better way to dim LEDs. Um, I think. Uh, oh, I'll show, you, I'll show you a full brightness now, just so you can see what it's like. So it's four seconds for blue, I'll put blue button again to start the blue input, and then I'll say, Two, uh, five, five, enter. And now it's 255, and this is how bright that is. Whoa, that's bright, yeah. It's quite bright. I was doing it last night, and I gave myself, I, could, I was seeing like, spots in my vision for a while after doing that last night. Not the best idea, probably, but yeah. Um, so that's that. Uh, yeah. I, I'll, post in the, I'll post this around, and let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Yeah, let me know what you think um, in the comments or send me a message or anything. I'm always happy to talk about my projects. Uh, thanks for paying attention to this. Bye.